Hey, welcome back guys, this is Zone. Just wanted to go ahead and tell you, uh, I got the miniatures put together. Got my, uh, named, uh, Lord and Hero choices all put together. I figured I'd go ahead and start with, uh, one of them here. Let's go ahead and start with Grease Gold Tooth. Let's see, yeah, here he is. Okay, this is the one I couldn't remember his name earlier gentleman pointed that out in one of my videos in the comment section. They were right. I couldn't remember his name. Um, things about this miniature as it got put together. Well, it's uh, it's relatively easy to get together. Um, it's better to do this guy uh, dry first to get the foundation done and then to actually apply glue and put it together. The problems you have is this is at an angle, the front piece is at an angle, this part has to match up, he has to match up, these sides have to match up, and all that is without a base. Okay. So they don't really match up well, and it can be a problem. Now one of the things I'm doing with this guy that I like, and I mentioned it in the first video, um, was that I was going to make these guys removable, these front guys, and I have. I went ahead and put really small magnets on the thing, so if I want to change the positioning of these guys, I can just put them down there. If I don't want them hanging off the edge, I can turn them or switch their positions. And then he's they're sitting there throwing their gold coins out in front of him. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I don't have to worry about breaking off. That's for sure. They'll sit nicely when I get them all done. Now the other Lord choice there was. Let me make sure I pronounce his right. And this is a Scrag the Slaughter. And I've got two more Knoblars, which I'll be putting on in a minute or later, I should say. Um, I'll probably will not magnetize the one that goes down here, but the one up here I might. I don't know. Maybe I won't. I want to paint them separately and then attach them after they're painted, though. Um, nothing really big about him. Um, there are some defects in the cauldron itself. I had to go back and touch it up with uh, carving it down. Um, the chains were the biggest problem, and they didn't even really match up properly. To get these even to come close, I had to cut the outer chains off uh, near the end, and then attach it with the middle chain to here, and then slightly bend, and then reattach the outer chains back here again. And if you notice right here, this one here did not uh, attach properly but it's close enough for government work, if you know the meaning. Other than that, uh, he went together real well. Um, I look forward to really painting him, actually. Of all the things I want to paint um, right now, this is the number one guy. Really looking forward to doing that. Let me go ahead and go to one of my hero choices. Uh, this one here is... Golfag, the man eater. Now that's spelled uh, G O L G, so Golg, I guess, and then F A G. So I guess it's Golfag. Now I have the original metal model, but it looks hideous in comparison to this guy. Um, frustrating model in some ways, though, still. Um, his feet weren't level, which is fine. I can work with that, but he accidentally fell when I thought he was glue, glued on here. He accidentally fell off and then fell to the ground, and when he did, he actually cracked. You can see that right there in the middle of the sword. He broke that sword in half, and I've gone ahead and reattached it. I have no idea if that's going to work. Kind of frustrates me. Um, other than that, he went together pretty easily. His legs and a uh, very small gut plate don't sit properly. Um, maybe if I worked harder, both his feet and his legs would have gone together better. 
but after the sword fell, it was kind of frustrating and just put them together. You won't be able to tell a whole lot, hopefully, once they get them together. Um, the big thing with him, if you don't know, is uh, he works good with another man-eater group, and you can give him uh, specific things and that type of stuff. And yeah, it's he's, he's a he works really well with other man eaters. Matter of fact, I think you have to have a man eater to take him. Uh, this is the guy that I thought was actually smaller. This is Bragg the Gutsman. Um, I'm betting you could put the sickle thing in front of or behind him. I have it behind him just because I like the way that looked. Um, super easy to put together. Um, one cautious thing is when you uh, get this part, it's actually upside down like this. And this looks like flash because it's attached to flash. So don't cut that off thinking you're cutting flash off and you're actually cutting like slime off, like part of someone's intestines. Now here's what I was talking about earlier about him looking like he's the same size as a regular ogre. Let me see if you can see this a little better. Here's a, an ogre bull standing next to him. There is about a half a head height difference in height uh, between these two. So they're pretty substantially close, but when you put them up next to even another hero choice, you can see there's a significant difference. So he's small for a hero, but he is larger than a bull. And of course, lore choices, for whatever reason, even seem bigger. This guy's leaning forward, dragging a cauldron. I mean, you can look at his arms and see the difference. Don't know. So he's small for a hero. Anyways, guys, I will uh, be doing a video painting uh, these guys up. Probably a video for each one of them. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do. If you like it, please like it. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have had the same type of problems with these miniatures, putting them together and everything. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.